The world is in constant flux. From the shifting sands of the Sahara to the ebb and flow of the tides, change is the only constant. This is truer now than ever before. In the business world, this reality bites with a particular ferocity. Markets fluctuate, technologies advance at a dizzying pace, and the expectations of both consumers and employees are in perpetual evolution. For senior managers and directors, navigating this sea of change is not merely an option, it is the defining challenge of leadership. The ability to adapt, to innovate, and to guide your organization through periods of profound transformation is paramount to success. More than that, it is essential for survival. Imagine, if you will, a mighty ship. This vessel represents your organization, a complex entity with its own inertia, its own direction, and its own crew, each with their own roles and perspectives. As the captain of this ship, the responsibility falls upon you, the senior manager, to chart a course through unfamiliar waters. The winds of change howl around you and the waves of disruption threaten to throw you off course. This is the stark reality faced by leaders every day. It's not enough to simply react to these forces, to merely batten down the hatches and hope to ride out the storm is a recipe for disaster. Instead, you must become a proactive force, anticipating challenges, seizing opportunities and inspiring your crew to embrace the journey ahead. This is the essence of leadership in the face of change. It's about fostering a culture of agility, of embracing innovation, and of empowering your team to navigate the unknown with confidence and resilience. Navigating the turbulent waters of organizational change requires more than just a steady hand on the tiller. It demands a deep understanding of the principles that govern successful transformation. Firstly, we must acknowledge that change is not an event, but a process. It's a journey that requires careful planning, meticulous execution, and constant communication. Like a skilled navigator plotting a course across the ocean, you must identify your destination, your vision for the future. But a vision alone is not enough. You must also define the steps required to reach that destination breaking down the seemingly insurmountable task of transformation into manageable stages. Each stage represents an opportunity to celebrate small victories, to build momentum, and to reinforce the belief that the journey, though challenging, is ultimately achievable. And throughout this voyage, communication becomes your most powerful tool. It's the wind in your sails propelling your ship forward. Regular, transparent and empathetic communication can alleviate anxieties, address concerns and ensure that everyone on board understands not just the what and the how of the change, but also the why. It's human nature to resist change. The unfamiliar can breed anxiety and the fear of the unknown can paralyze even the most seasoned leader. But within this uncertainty lies tremendous opportunity. By embracing change not as a threat, but as a catalyst for growth and innovation, you can unlock the full potential of your organization. This requires a fundamental shift in perspective from viewing change as a disruption to seeing it as a chance to evolve, to adapt, and to emerge stronger. Resistance to change is inevitable. But by understanding the root causes of this resistance, fear, lack of understanding, or a perceived loss of control, you can proactively address concerns, build consensus, and create a sense of shared ownership in the transformation process. Remember, the journey of organizational change is not a solo expedition. It requires the collective effort of your entire crew. By fostering a culture of open communication, collaboration, and trust, you can empower your team to embrace the challenge, to navigate the uncertainties, and to ultimately emerge victorious on the other side. The essence of leadership is vision. 
Like a ship needs a destination, an organization needs a clear vision. This vision, this North Star, must articulate the desired end state. It must be communicated with clarity, passion and authenticity. Inspire your team, ignite their imaginations, weave the vision into your strategic decisions and daily interactions. The single biggest problem in communication is the illusion that it has taken place, quipped George Bernard Shaw. And never has this been truer than in the context of organizational change. Effective communication is not merely about transmitting information. It's about fostering understanding, building trust and managing expectations. When leading through change, transparency is paramount. Be upfront about the challenges, the uncertainties, and even the potential risks involved. People are more likely to embrace change when they feel informed and included in the process. Remember, silence breeds rumor and speculation, eroding trust and amplifying anxieties. But communication is not a one-way street. Encourage open dialogue. Create platforms for feedback, both positive and negative. Actively listen to the concerns of your team, address their questions honestly, and demonstrate empathy for the challenges they face. Employ a variety of communication channels to reach all corners of your organization, from town hall meetings and team briefings to emails, intranet posts, and even informal coffee chats ensure that your message is consistent, clear, and resonates with your audience. The greatest danger in times of turbulence is not the turbulence. It is to act with yesterday's logic. These words spoken by Peter Drucker highlight a critical aspect of leading change, the need for urgency. Complacency is the enemy of progress. And to overcome inertia, you must create a burning platform for change. This doesn't mean resorting to fear-mongering. Instead, it's about helping your team understand the compelling reasons for change. What are the potential consequences of inaction? What opportunities are at stake? How will this transformation benefit not just the organization, but also the individuals within it? Share data, present market trends, and highlight competitor actions that demonstrate the need for adaptation. Make the case for change both rationally and emotionally, appealing to both logic and aspiration. Remember, urgency is not about creating panic. It's about fostering a collective sense of purpose and excitement for the journey ahead. It's about inspiring your team to embrace the challenge, to move with agility, and to seize the opportunities that change inevitably brings. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. Martin Luther King Jr.'s words resonate deeply in the context of organizational transformation. While a clear vision, effective communication, and a sense of urgency are crucial, they are meaningless without empowering your team to take action. People need to feel equipped to navigate the complexities of change. Provide them with the necessary resources, training and support to develop the skills and knowledge required to thrive in the evolving landscape. This might involve upskilling initiatives, mentorship programs or even simply creating a safe space for experimentation and learning from mistakes. Break down the overarching transformation into manageable steps, assigning clear roles and responsibilities. This not only makes the task seem less daunting, but also fosters a sense of ownership and accountability. Remember, change is not a top-down initiative. It requires the active participation of every individual within the organization. By empowering your team, providing them with the tools and support they need, you unleash their creativity, their ingenuity, and their commitment to making the vision.
Nothing succeeds like success. Early wins are crucial for building momentum and sustaining enthusiasm. These victories, however small, show progress and make the vision achievable. Identify quick wins that are easy to implement but deliver visible results. Celebrate these successes and acknowledge contributions. Early wins boost morale, reinforce belief and weaken resistance. Witnessing progress builds confidence and receptiveness to change. Remember, organisational change is a marathon, not a sprint. The only person who is educated is the one who has learned how to learn and change. Change challenges the status quo and encounters resistance. This is often rooted in fear of the unknown or loss of control. Address resistance with empathy and understanding. Engage with those who are resistant and listen to their concerns. Often resistance stems from a lack of information. Provide training and support to help individuals adapt. The most important thing I learned at IBM was that culture is everything, said Louis Verf Gerstner, Jr. These words, spoken by the man who orchestrated one of the most remarkable turnarounds in corporate history, underscore the profound impact of culture on an organization's ability to navigate change. In the early 1990s, IBM, once the undisputed giant of the computing world, found itself on the brink of collapse. Enter Louis Gerstner, a seasoned executive with no prior experience in the tech industry, who took the helm with a mandate for radical change. He recognized that the company's legendary bureaucracy, while stifling innovation, was also a testament to its commitment to quality and customer service. Gerstner's transformation of IBM was multifaceted and far-reaching. He shifted the company's focus from hardware to software and services, recognizing that the future lay in providing integrated solutions rather than simply selling boxes. The internet is not the enemy of newspapers. It is their savior, said Arthur Sulzberger, Jr. The New York Times faced an existential crisis with declining circulation and advertising revenues. Instead of succumbing, the Times embarked on a bold digital transformation. It invested heavily in online journalism, creating a robust website and mobile app. It experimented with new storytelling formats, incorporating video, audio and interactive graphics, engaging with readers and building a loyal online community. The transformation required a fundamental shift in mindset. The Times remained committed to journalistic integrity, accuracy and independence. If you're not willing to be wrong, you'll never come up with anything original, said Jeff Bezos. These words encapsulate Amazon's relentless pursuit of innovation and willingness to embrace change. From its humble beginnings as an online bookstore in 1994, Amazon has transformed. It's become the world's largest online marketplace, revolutionizing e-commerce with one-click ordering and personalized recommendations. Beyond retail, Amazon Web Services powers countless websites. Kindle and Echo integrate seamlessly into daily life. Amazon's adaptability stems from a culture of experimentation and failure tolerance. Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. Steve Jobs. These words, spoken by the visionary co-founder of Apple, encapsulate the company's unwavering commitment to pushing the boundaries of technology and design. From its early days in a Silicon Valley garage to its current status as one of the world's most valuable companies, Apple has consistently challenged conventions. It revolutionized personal computing with the Apple II and the Macintosh, introduced the world to the iPod and iTunes, and ushered in the era of smartphones and tablets with the iPhone and iPad. Apple's success is not merely a matter of technological prowess. 
It's also a testament to the company's ability to create products that are both functional and beautiful, intuitive and desirable. Apple's design philosophy, with its emphasis on simplicity, elegance and user experience, has become legendary. The return of Steve Jobs in 1997 marked a turning point, refocusing the company on its core strengths of design and user experience. Jobs orchestrated a remarkable turnaround, showcasing the power of innovation. We're competing with sleep, Reed Hastings. This bold statement from the co-founder and CEO of Netflix highlights the company's relentless focus on customer satisfaction. In the late 1990s, Netflix began as a DVD by mail rental service, challenging traditional video rental stores like Blockbuster. Netflix's true disruption came from its willingness to embrace streaming video. As broadband internet access became more widespread, Netflix transitioned from a DVD rental company to a streaming giant. It invested heavily in building its streaming library, securing licenses for popular movies and TV shows, and producing its own original content. Blockbuster, once a behemoth with thousands of stores worldwide, failed to adapt and filed for bankruptcy in 2010. Netflix's success was a testament to the company's ability to anticipate and embrace technological change. The key to Toyota's success and its competitive advantage is its management system. Jeffrey Leiker. This quote underscores the profound impact of Toyota's revolutionary approach to manufacturing, known as the Toyota Production System, TPS, or Lean Manufacturing. Under the leadership of Taiichi Ono, Toyota developed TPS, a system that emphasized eliminating waste, empowering workers, and continuously improving every aspect of the production process. TPS introduced concepts like just-in-time inventory and Kaizen, a philosophy of continuous improvement. Toyota's lean revolution transformed the company from a small domestic player into a global automotive giant. Its success inspired countless other manufacturers to adopt lean principles. Focus on the user and all else will follow. Google's unofficial motto captures the essence of the company's unwavering commitment to innovation. From its humble beginnings as a research project at Stanford University, Google has become synonymous with search. The company has diversified into a vast array of products and services, from email and online productivity tools to mobile operating systems and cloud computing platforms. Google's ability to transform itself repeatedly is rooted in its corporate culture, which encourages experimentation and celebrates innovation. The company's 20% time policy has led to the creation of some of its most successful products, including Gmail and AdSense. Change is not a technological issue, it's a people issue. We often focus on the strategic imperatives, the financial projections and the operational intricacies of organisational change, yet we neglect the most crucial element, the human element. Leading through change is not about dictating from on high, it's about understanding the hopes, fears and anxieties that inevitably arise. Some may embrace it with open arms, eager for the opportunities it presents. Others may resist, clinging to the comfort of the familiar. As leaders, it's our responsibility to acknowledge and validate these emotions, to create a safe space for dialogue and to address concerns with empathy and understanding. This requires active listening, a willingness to see the change from multiple perspectives and a genuine desire to support our team. By leading with empathy, we build trust, foster resilience and create a more humane and ultimately more successful transformation journey.
Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower. Steve Jobs understood that innovation is not a one-time event, but a continuous process. In today's rapidly evolving landscape, fostering a culture of innovation is no longer a luxury. It's an existential imperative. This means moving beyond incremental improvements and embracing bold, even disruptive ideas. It means creating an environment where experimentation is encouraged, where failure is viewed as a valuable learning opportunity. Cultivating a culture of innovation requires a fundamental shift in mindset from preserving the past to shaping the future. It necessitates creating structures and processes that reward risk-taking and encourage cross-functional collaboration. Change does not roll in on the wheels of inevitability, but comes through continuous struggle. Martin Luther King Jr. AS words remind us that even the most well-intentioned change initiatives will encounter resistance. To overcome inertia, leaders must build a broad coalition of support, a network of champions who embody the change. These champions are not just those in positions of formal authority. They are individuals at all levels of the organization who are passionate about the vision and willing to champion the cause. Identify these individuals early on. Provide them with the information, resources and support they need to effectively communicate the change. Empower them to be agents of change, to lead by example and to demonstrate the tangible benefits of the transformation. By building a coalition of champions, you create a powerful force for change. The only person who is educated is the one who has learned how to learn and change. Carl Rogers reminds us that resistance to change is a natural human response to the unfamiliar. It often stems from fear of the unknown or a reluctance to abandon familiar routines. As leaders, our instinct might be to dismiss resistance as negativity. However, this approach only serves to alienate and entrench opposition. Instead, we must view resistance as an opportunity to understand the underlying concerns and turn skeptics into advocates for change. This requires open and honest communication. Create safe spaces for dialogue where individuals feel comfortable expressing their doubts and anxieties. Provide clear, concise explanations for the change, emphasizing the why behind the what. If you can't measure it, you can't improve it. This adage underscores a fundamental principle of successful change initiatives. The importance of continuous monitoring and measurement it's not enough to simply launch a transformation effort and hope for the best. We must track progress, identify what's working and what's not, and make adjustments along the way. Establish clear metrics that align with your strategic goals. These metrics should be measurable, relevant and time-bound. Regularly collect data, analyse trends and communicate progress transparently to all stakeholders. Monitoring and measurement are about fostering accountability and identifying areas for improvement. Regularly review your metrics, solicit feedback and be prepared to make course corrections as needed. Success is not final, failure is not fatal. It is the courage to continue that counts. These words, spoken by Winston Churchill, resonate deeply in the context of leading organizational change. The journey of transformation is rarely a smooth upward trajectory. It's a process fraught with challenges, setbacks and moments of both triumph and despair. It's crucial to celebrate successes along the way, no matter how small. Acknowledge the hard work and dedication of your team. Recognize individual and collective achievements. These celebrations boost morale and reinforce the belief that the change is achievable. Equally important is the ability to learn from setbacks. 
when things don't go as planned, view it as an opportunity for reflection and learning. Conduct a thorough post-mortem to identify the root causes of the setback. By embracing both our successes and setbacks, we ensure that the journey of transformation is ultimately rewarding. Navigating the complexities of organizational change can be a daunting task. It requires a deep understanding of leadership, culture, and the dynamics of transformation. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we understand the challenges you face. Our team of experienced consultants has a proven track record of guiding organizations through significant change. We offer a range of services tailored to meet the unique needs of your organization. Let us be your trusted partner on the journey of transformation. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with M Yoga Coaching and Consulting today. The winds of change are ever present, reshaping the landscape of business and demanding adaptation. Throughout this journey, we have explored the multifaceted nature of organizational change. We began by recognizing the inevitability of change, likening it to the unrelenting tides of the sea. We explored the pivotal role of senior managers and directors in navigating their ships through turbulent waters. From establishing a clear vision to communicating effectively, we have uncovered the essential elements of leading change successfully. We have learned that change is about transforming mindsets, fostering a culture of innovation, and empowering individuals to embrace the challenge. As we reach the end of our exploration, let's pause to reflect on some key takeaways, essential guideposts to keep in mind as you navigate your own organization's transformation journey. Firstly, change is a process, not an event. It's a marathon, not a sprint, requiring careful planning, meticulous execution, and a willingness to adapt along the way. Secondly, communication is paramount. Be transparent, be consistent, and be empathetic in your messaging. Listen actively to the concerns of your team, address their anxieties, and foster a culture of open dialogue. Thirdly, empower your people. Provide them with the resources, training, and support they need to navigate the complexities of change. Celebrate their successes, learn from their setbacks, and foster a culture of continuous learning and improvement and finally, remember that you are not alone on this journey. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we stand ready to partner with you, providing the expertise, guidance and support you need to navigate the challenges and opportunities of organizational change and emerge stronger, more agile and better equipped to thrive in the ever-evolving landscape of the 21st century. At M Yoga Coaching and Consulting, we believe every organization has the potential for greatness, unlocked through strategic vision and inspired leadership. Our seasoned consultants provide tailored solutions to address your unique challenges. We empower your leaders, engage your employees, and align your organization around a shared vision. True transformation is a collaborative endeavor, fostering open communication and celebrating successes. M. Jogo, coaching and consulting is your trusted partner on the journey to achieving enduring excellence. The future belongs to those who embrace change, who see opportunity and disruption, and who dare to challenge the status quo. It belongs to those who lead with courage, who empower their teams, and who foster a culture of continuous learning and improvement. Don't let the fear of the unknown hold you back. Don't allow the weight of legacy to stifle innovation. Embrace the challenge. Seize the opportunity. The time for transformation is now. 
Take the first step toward unlocking your organization's full potential. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with M. Joga Coaching and Consulting today. Let us partner with you, guiding you through the complexities of change, helping you to navigate the challenges and empowering you to achieve enduring success in the ever-evolving landscape of the 21st century. Remember, the journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Take that step today and let's embark on this transformative journey. True transformation is not about short-term gains or temporary fixes. It's about creating a legacy of adaptability, innovation and empowerment. The journey is challenging, but the rewards are immeasurable. Embrace change, lead with courage and foster continuous learning. The greatest danger in turbulence is to act with yesterday's logic. Peter Drucker Let these words guide you through organisational change. Embrace the future, challenge the status quo, and never stop evolving. Thank you for joining us on this journey.